Hello everybody, back here again for another vlog a day, and today is Thursday the 9th, and today was a lovely day outside. Um, got this morning, got the dogs taken care of, they get up way too damn early. They are way more excited about life than I am um, in the morning time. So luckily daylight savings time just happened, and they're not fully on the new schedule yet, so it was a little bit better than normal. So usually by 5 a.m. they're barking and banging at the door trying to get in, so I would let them out and get them food. So. It is what it is, but I got up this morning, got them taken care of, um, did a few little things, got Karen off to work. Um, she's still got the broken arm, so she's kind of slow in the whole driving thing, whatever and whatnot, but she was able to get out of here. Um, she got off to work fine. I decided I was going to go for a little run. Uh, thought it'd be a good day to do that. So I went ahead and went to grab my water bottle and realized I forgot my water bottle at the house. So I'm out here at the beach house and did not have my water bottle. I was like, damn, this sucks. So I said to hell with it, decided to run and just rely on the water fountains around the um, island here and thought, oh, I'll see what happens. So I went off and I got to the one spot where I thought there was a water fountain and it turns out it's only dog water fountain, which wasn't bad. It was about four miles in or so and Bruce got his water, which is, you know, more important than my water because I can always tell when I'm dehydrated more than he can. Um, went ahead, um, ended up finding another spot that had another water fountain for dogs. And then that one also had one off to the side for people. And I was like, oh, wait a minute, I think that one might have had that too. So well, as I ran back by, I realized there was a water fountain there for me. So he ended up getting water four times. I got water twice. So, but it's all good. Uh, worked out just fine. Uh, we was able to finish our run and get it wrapped up without really any real issue at all. Um, had a good time. Met a couple people. Met a few crappy dogs. People just amazing how they do not... Um, educate their dogs or basically teach them anything. That's a couple of the versions right there, the dogs out here um, that I'm watching out here at the beach house. But um, they just, they don't, their dogs are aggressive. Their dogs are on, their dogs are awful. And just like almost pulling them down, trying to come over and want to start a fight with my dog and me. So it's ridiculous how little people take care of their dogs and educate them and make them calm, peaceful, loving animals. But it is what it is. From there I got back to the house, decided to go to the beach, have myself a cigar. So I went ahead and took the lawn chair and sat down there in the water and the surf was coming in and the tide was coming up. So I'm out there just enjoying myself and kind of drifting off a little bit, kind of spacing off, not paying attention. The water's hitting my legs and stuff and whatnot and it's kind of getting my butt wet, not a big deal. And then this giant ass wave, the tide's coming in, came in and hit me almost like, it was huge, way higher than it was. I ripped my cigar up in the air real quick so I didn't lose my cigar to it, but it knocked my um, lighter and stuff into the water and this and that. I was, don't know if I'll save the light or not. It's hard telling. I'll see if I can. It, right now it's not lighting, but it is what it is. So I went ahead. I, um, luckily my cigar was close to so being done. I didn't, never lost the flame on it, so I needed to relight it again. But it was one of those things that just kind of laughed. It was just one of those deals that I was not expecting the water to hit me that high that quick. So it is what it is. But I had the, um, got the cigar done, came back to the house here, um, chilled out a little bit, um, hung with the dogs, got my shower, got cleaned up and that. Then we had to go up to Daytona to get Karen's cast taken off and x-rayed and see how it's all healing and whatnot. So they were putting a splint. And we got there and it, they were late. They were just like 30 minutes behind, which is annoying as hell. We got in the, off, in the office stuff, finally saw the lady, she got the cast off. Um, went ahead and went to get the x-ray and stuff and we waited almost an hour, 57 minutes we waited for the doctor to come in and go looks like it's doing fine we're gonna put you in a splint so but bad guess apparently they cannot bill us unless the doctor speaks to us it's like an extra bill as opposed to talking to assistants only so we had to wait 57 minutes to have that guy walk in never touched her never looked just walking goes looks like it's healing good i just put the splint on and then they'll fit you for the splint and walk back out the door and i'm like oh you sons of bitches it was the point it was so long i thought they'd forgot about us walking and open the door to like say hey did you guys forget about us like what the hell happened here so not um the most pleasant thing i was not the most happy about that but it is what it is um, went ahead and was able to um finally get that fitted and get back out of there and Unfortunately, because of the extra delay, the half an hour late, the hour long thing stuff, Karen wasn't gonna go back to work, which wasn't a big deal. It's not a weird time frame whether she go back to work or not. Um, and the two o'clock appointment thing or two thirty appointment. But here's the sad part: had to go back to um, to Edgewater to get the new dog we had dropping off tonight. So that's what really sucks. I thought our appointment was at two thirty. We actually thought it was originally at two, so we've been out of there, you know, three at the latest, back to work, and she'd have a couple hours of work and then go pick the dog up. So. She drove over, she had really bad stomach cramp stuff, so not feeling great for whatever reason, something didn't set right in her stomach. And I was like, well, I kind of wanted to go back. I almost went and just basically dropped her off here, but the time frame that took so long, I drove the motorcycle to 95. I couldn't get back here to the house and drove the car back for her stuff, which I should have just done because the people were 45 minutes, almost 50 minutes late, picking and dropping the damn dog off, which then it just annoys us because we're waiting around to eat dinner together. She's not feeling great and all that wonderful stuff that comes along with it all. So finally got her back out here she got the dog the dog did fine um, we had wonderful meal us heating up reheating the hamburgers and of course what happens girl runs out of fuel so 
propane's gone on the grill, and I end up managing to reheat them up in the microwave. Luckily, they'd already been cooked yesterday, so it was just a reheat. Threw some cheese on it, tossed the microwave for a couple minutes, and we were all good to go. But other than that, pretty much just chilled out. Um, she pretty much passed out on me after her shower. She had no energy left. She went to bed super early, and hopefully she'll get some rest tonight. So anyway, that's all I got for now. I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Have yourself a safe, wonderful day. Thanks for watching.